Oops. The statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall, chipped with both arms broken off. The plaster seemed to soak up the grease paint until it began to look like stone. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? You must remember that. Sounds scenic. Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on it. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Do you know what il akol kalb means? That's what you said to the kebab seller? <laughs> uh, no. I don't speak Arabic. Not a word. What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. And here you go. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price moolah is correct. Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah, okay, I'll be along in a minute.
It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. Hello again, Ultar. His most splendid and adventurous client. That's your taxi? Oh, yes. Most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your cheeky board caps and your jet horses. You have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There. You have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay already. Let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed pair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you going to do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that going to take? One day. Maybe six. I can't wait that long. we got to get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. What does Il Akel Kalb mean? Who teach you that? Nejo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah. How did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. Ultar not mean dog food. Ultar mean dog. Oh. Ugh. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend! You want to see the bull's head? Yes! With a flourish, I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. Well, that looked really safe, but I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. Yeah. 
I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. But there was something in there. A metal ring. As wide as my hand. I took a firm hold of the ring. And pulled. Whoa there! Around the corner, I found the corpse. Oh my god. Klausner? Large as life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Oh man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. I had a bad feeling about how Klausner had died. Okay. All right. Hey, what's this? I'd found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. I'd searched Klausner once and knew that the lens was the only thing he'd been carrying. No portable phone, no demolition charges, no five-course meal. You'd think international conspirators would go around better equipped. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. I couldn't take the inscription with me, and I didn't have a notebook or a camera to record it. All I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. In occidenta cita est, in ora mundi. Okay. That would have to do. The mouth's opening. It must be Ultar. My God. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar! Don't come in! It's a trap! Stay where you are! You! Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Please, do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Did you say maim? I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You wanna look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about? Yes. I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? No, nothing. So, why is this location important? What did the Templars hide here if not an artifact? Well, there was something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? 
What did it say? In Arcadenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Performit lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... What the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Josh. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. I'm sure you'll find it very... useful. Let's take another look at the manuscript. That's the face of the statue I saw at the bull's head. That's the tripod we borrowed from the museum. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marn. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. The night scroll bears a phrase in Latin, through my teachings, you will be enlightened. And that's not a crystal ball. It's the lens I found in Marib. There's a guy working on a loom. That's the clue that led me to the bull's head in Syria. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. What's with the long face? Haven't you heard? The tripod was stolen. No kidding. I just don't get it. So many other treasures. And if these choose the tripod... A modern-day alchemist, perhaps? Who knows? There's no shortage of crazies in Paris. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. 
I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Mais oui, of course. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes, uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In Occidenta Sita Est in Ora Mundi. The island of Britain. Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. What can you tell me about Philippe Lebel? He was responsible for the extermination of the Knights Templar. I know that, but why was Philip so hot to get rid of them? Mostly because he wanted to get his hands on their treasure. He had an enormous debt and a lifelong war with England to fund. The trouble was the Templars were a highly respected holy order. If the Templars were so powerful, how did this Philippe dude wipe them out? By underhanded, dishonorable means, of course. The Pope was Clement V, a Frenchman. French, huh? Handy for Philippe. Fate had nothing to do with it. He was Philippe's puppet, planted to further his political ambitions. Philippe wanted the wealth of the Templars and used Clement to get it. So what was Philippe's plan? What happened? Sealed orders were sent out all over France, not to be opened until the appointed day. That day was Friday, July 13th. That's the origin of our superstition regarding that date. At dawn, throughout the whole of France, the Templars were arrested. It was the biggest bust in the history of the world. What happened to the Templars after their arrest? Philippe was out for blood, so he handed the Templars over to the Inquisition. Not surprisingly, they confessed to a sensational and sordid list of blasphemies. Like what? Oh, the sort of things you read about in the gutter press. Devil worship, lewd sexual practices, <laughs> spitting on the Holy Cross, that kind of thing. Well, that must have given their lawyers some headaches. Whether or not the accusations were true, this was not good publicity. Most of the charges were probably cooked up, <laughs> but so were the Templars, <laughs> literally. Hundreds of them were found guilty of heresy and flamed grilled at the stake. They died protesting their innocence. But surely Philippe had no proof of his charges against the Templars. A man will admit anything under torture. The Inquisition fabricated some nonsensical demon called Baphomet and then suggested to their victims that this was what they worshipped. But they didn't have to agree. The records show a Templar coming to trial with both feet burnt off. Fragments of flesh and charred bone falling from the stamps. What would you not admit to, to stop such torment? So there was no truth at all in the Baphomet accusations? Not a shred. Almost every victim described the idol differently. No. Baphomet never existed outside the sick minds of the Inquisitors. So Philippe stole the Templars' riches, huh? Oh no, they weren't stupid. The King's troops marched first on the Temple in Paris, then to the Templar home port at La Rochelle. There was no trace of the treasure, and the fleet of the Knights Templar had set sail. What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh we oui, pilgrims in their thousands on their way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. 
The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Do you think the manuscript could be the map to the Templar treasure? Frankly, no. That's too far-fetched. The manuscript is interesting enough and a rare find, but that's all. Wouldn't it be terrific if it was a map, though? The treasure of the Knights Templar. A romantic notion, Georgie, but extremely improbable. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Thank you.